Okay, here's a Bose Lifestyle 20 with Bluetooth installed in place of a CD player. As you can see here, it says disk none. And if we look for the CD player, all we'll see is uh, some intermittent blinking. The flashing blue lights there indicate we are paired with uh, another device. That other device is this laptop here. All right, and then in terms of the setup, we have, uh, we're just plugged into power here, and then through the headphone jack, we're connected to an external speaker. And then likewise, you can see we have the laptop connected to the Bluetooth speaker. That's what this unit broadcast as Bluetooth speaker. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit play on source here. So it works, uh, audio is pretty good, no muffled sound, no buzzing or anything like that. Um, so you'll be, you'll be hard pressed to tell that this is different than CD quality. Okay, so we'll continue to play. And then if we adjust volume, the Bluetooth unit reflects that the source volume is changing with that beeping noise. And then that sound there, that high pitched sound indicates we're at max volume at source. Now, since this is a modified unit, there are some quirks. If we change sources to video or any other input and go back to CD input, volume, uh, it will, you won't hear music. So again, uh, it's still playing over here, but audio is not being output. Turn it on and off is the fix. Music continues to play. So just to demo that again, if you switch input, Go back to CD. Whoops, that was bad. Switch input, go back to CD. Audio's not gonna work. Turn it on and off. So that's a quick, you know, three second fix. Not the end of the world. Likewise, if you hit play or pause and then hit play, it's not gonna work. Let's just go ahead and turn it on and off. So not too bad. Uh, I think some fast forward buttons will also cause that issue. Oh, I guess not. So it looks like rewind stops it. Hitting fast forward. Ah, no. Okay, see, it's still a work in progress. Just turn it on and off. That fixes it. Uh, one more issue. Let's say you've got a power outage, like so, and you turn the unit back on. We'll navigate back to CD here, and no audio will play. Turn it on, or turn it off, turn it on. Let's try that again. Oh, see, yeah, okay, so it works. Uh, and I just turned it off by mistake. So the Bluetooth connection is persistent. Even if we turn it off, the computer will maintain that Bluetooth connection. Doesn't use very much power. Uh, so that's it. Yeah, pretty convenient way to replace your CD player, uh, and it's pretty cheap. I can post all the parts in the description below. Thanks for watching.